and welcome back to June Journals. As I promised in our previous video, I have another journal to share with you this week, and it's botanical again. I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, it depends on how much you love this Sam, but summer makes me think only about something botanical, and I will do my best to come over this situation and next journal will be different especially we have a collect we are working on the collection of gothic and magical slash um i don't know alchemy related journals so stay tuned but today i have this uh, book of herbs to share this journal is uh, longer and slightly wider than the usual one and it has two signatures inside but of course i would like to start Telling more about this journal with the cover. So I moved uh, the plant, the plant further, and now you can see the cover better in the journal, better. So yeah, first of all, this journal goes with this hand crocheted uh, cord. It was created by my mom, and it has this lovely small um, butterfly here on the sleeve and just a dingle on the other side and the cover is partly soft i mean the cover itself is hard but it was covered with um, fleece to make it softer and the spine is absolutely soft there is no um, piece of um, i don't know cardboard or paper inside so it's quite um, nice i would say again i'm not sure if it's easy to use such kind of journal or not but it was lots of fun to create it anyway and yeah it's kind of um, like quilt uh, cover again i uh, it's been a while since i created something like that but i got inspired and created this kind of simple cover so this is the back side and uh, on the front um, cover we also have this real uh, pressed, uh, pressed flower or plant uh, inside of this uh, frame and I protected it with a piece of acetate plastic and I added this felt element and I think it looks really interesting as well we have this uh, metal frame and if you don't want to, to use it you can just uh, untie these um, ties and take it out away like it's easy to get rid of these pieces, you don't want to use it, but I really like how it looks with these uh, ties. And yeah, it's also pieces of cheesecloth, and unfortunately it's fallen apart a bit, but I needed this uh, kinda, you know, vintage, sorry about that, uh, kinda vintage, I don't know, effect, I would say, something like that. So yeah, now let's see what the journal has inside. Since this journal is kind of long, it's not easy to get in frame, but I will do my best. So here we have the very first uh, page with this huge pocket and a um, writing plate. This is how this plate looks. We use a lot of craft paper for this journal because uh, for me, craft goes perfect with any botanical or nature-related stamp. So, places for writing, and here we have this uh, pocket with this see-through jar. Uh, just um, a decorative element here, and a page made out of um, vellum. We also created this step on many, many pages. Another printed out page, another decorative element, places for writing, printed out page here. And here we have another pocket, with also with this see-through element. And um, I have kind of idea to create this journal as an apothecary journal, but I didn't get enough uh, supplies, unfortunately. So it's kind of herbs mostly, but I still added a few elements that, uh, in my opinion, related to uh, apothecary, uh, I don't know, craft, I would say. So here we have this... Uh, fold out with this beautiful uh, picture image of a um, flower. So here we have this element again. And here we have a decorative element with this beautiful, it, it's, it's a beautiful uh, postcard of a plant. 
pages from botanical books. Again, tabs here and there. Page for coloring, and here we have this um, belly band with a belly band and a few extra uh, um, text and journaling cards for writing. Another printed out page, and here we have this big pocket. It's the only and forever, and it also has this uh, Kinder library card. It was just a hand um, draw, or oh, just draw. Extra notebook for writing with a few pieces of paper inside. And here we have this um, pocket and a tuck spot here. Splashes, splashes of paints. Places for writing and here we have another uh, tuck spot made out of a postcard. Here we have just this decorative element with this uh, trim of lace. So here we have this uh, beautiful pocket with two uh, actually uh, tuck spots on each side. An extra notebook for writing. You also can use these pieces of paper to add into your journal, but I love how it looks. A few pages for writing and pages from botanical books, of course. Another pocket with like a mailbox pocket here. You can add something here and here, but at the same time, it's just a usual pocket. So you can use it as a I don't know, triple pocket or something like that. So here we have side pocket made out of another beautiful postcard and a place for you to write here and to place some images on this part. The second signature. And here we have this beautiful pocket also with a Kindle journaling card. Just decorative element here, places for writing and, and placing your own memorabilia, interactive element here, and a vintage postcard as a journaling card. Beautiful golden uh, paper doily. And here we have this, I don't know, like um, a file, I would say. And inside of it, you have this pocket and this pocket, and just decorative element. Places for writing, special spot for writing, I would say. A few pages for writing, beautiful um, pages from an old um, book. Here we have another fold out with this beautiful plant. So here we have a notebook in the shape of a jar. And it was um, hand printed on vellum. Uh, and it actually looked quite interesting, but before I could use it, I had to let it dry completely because we have an inkjet printer and it's not easy to print on vellum or any other covered um, like glossy um, cover on papers with glossy covers and it's related to vellum too. So here we have a uh, shape tax spot with these uh, nice small kinder grading cards and actually it was from um, a local brand Camilla where uh, produce um, medical clothes. And since my husband uh, is a paramedic, we pitched uh, him uh, a new costume. And they give us these uh, cards because it was um, like a celebration related to the day of nurse, I would say. So yeah, it was like a gift to us. Just decorative element here. Another see-through element. 
pocket here with this uh, journaling card. It's a real specimen and I use just a paper clip to keep it inside of this book. Special spot for writing. Here we have this, I would say, um, shaped tax spot and another tax spot, a tax spot made out of a postcard. So here we have this separate element with a few extra um, pages for writing. So here we have this uh, envelope. And a shape po or pocket on the last page with this journaling card. And this is it. I hope you enjoy this uh, journal. As usual, all links can be found in the, de in the description box below this video. I guess ne next week I will also upload a, a tutorial if I have time to film it, of course. And I hope I will sh also share with you another uh, journal, but I'm not sure because uh, we need to work on a few custom orders and as well I need to finish something um, related to junk journal, but not a junk journal. So it's kind of, you know, uh, intriguing, intriguing moment, I would say. And uh, yeah, I truly hope you are safe and sound. We are going through a difficult time again, and I'm afraid we'll be going through this time maybe for years. I hope not, but who knows. And yeah, don't forget that craft and art is a really good therapy, a really good therapy for you so as well as writing something so you can journal in your days and your memories your thoughts and and, and it will help you to get rid of your stress if you have it and if you're under the pressure you also can find a way out through the uh, through the art and crafting and that's why I always say don't forget to stay inspired because inspiration is important and it will give you energy to go further no matter how difficult life can seem at the moment. And yeah, so thank you very much for supporting us and we have a few new um, subscribers and it's really amazing. Thank you very much for, for new subscribers and for our long-term friends too. And yeah, that's all for today. We have an amazing day, but I will have to work the whole day long. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this video and for supporting us. And I will see you soon. Bye bye.